October 31st, 2022, a Long March 5B rocket launched from the Wingsheng spacecraft launch site in southern China. Inside the fairing was the Ming Tiang space station module. After 13 hours in orbit, the Ming Tiang docked to the Tanhe module. Once moved to its final position, it completed the Chinese space station. Technically, China's human spaceflight program began back in 1968. However, the program didn't begin in earnest until 1986, when the government funded the 863 program, an economic initiative aimed at stimulating science and technology development in several key areas, including spaceflight. By 1992, the China Manned Space Program was approved and set a strategy to become a major spacefaring nation in three steps. The first step of China's human spaceflight program like those of the United States and the Soviet Union back in the 1950s and 60s, was to launch a locally constructed human-rated spacecraft atop a natively built launch vehicle from sovereign territory. This necessity led to the development of the Long March 2F launch vehicle. The Long March 2F is the latest iteration of the Long March 2 family of rockets, which was first launched back in 1972. The Long March 2E was the first to add four strap-on boosters, and the 2F was designed as the human-rated vehicle, specifically to carry the Shenzhou spacecraft. The Long March 2F is powered by a 3.5 meter diameter, 24 meter tall first stage, powered by four YF-20B rocket engines, burning N2O and UDMH for 166 seconds. It also has four side boosters, powered by a single YF-20B on each booster, which burn for 128 seconds. The booster is detached from the first stage 39 seconds before it too separates from the second stage and drops away. Then the second stage, powered by a single YF-24B, burns for 289 seconds and is able to attain orbital velocities and put its payload into orbit. To date, the Long March 2F has never experienced a launch failure. In 
The spacecraft component of Stage 1 led to the development of the Shenzhou spacecraft. The Shenzhou is a spacecraft of familiar design. While it looks like the Russian Soyuz, with an orbital module, a re-entry module, and a service module with two solar panels for power, the Shenzhou is about 10% larger than the Soyuz, with 16 cubic meters of living space, compared to just the 5 meters in the Soyuz. Additionally, the Shenzhou, being among the newest spacecraft, also boasts the most recent innovations in spacecraft design and advanced onboard control for autonomous rendezvous and docking. After four test flights and four years after the first launch of the Long March 2F, on October 15, 2003, a Long March 2F launched the first Chinese human spaceflight, Shenzhou 5, from Zhiquan Satellite Launch Center, a launch base in the Gobi Desert in Gansu Province. Fishing 100 Aboard the flight was Taikonaut Niang Lai Wei, a 38-year-old lieutenant colonel in the People's Liberation Army and a former fighter pilot. Shenzhou 5 entered orbit 343 kilometers above the Earth, and Yang conducted 14 orbits, performing various tests of the vehicle and of himself. After 21 hours orbiting the Earth, the Xinjiao fired its four orbital engines, deorbited, and landed back in northern China flawlessly. 高度降低至140公里时,推进舱与返回舱分离。在约80公里高度时,返回舱进入稠密大气层,因高速剧烈摩擦导致飞船表面产生等离子体,形成黑障区,使返回舱暂时与地面失去通信联系。捕捉到目